Hello, this is Bunting, and today I'm going to be going over some Charles I and Jade Cicada style basses. But before I go any further, I just want to say the majority of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you enjoy my videos and want to see more, please consider subscribing. That would help me out. Without further ado, let us dissect this bad boy. So this first, this first wubbly bubbly sine compression bass here, as I said, it is sine compression. You take a sine wave, I just use vital for this because, I don't know, you could use anything that has a pitch bend feature. Just a sine wave and, and we have soft sine saturation. Now this is the key turning this bass down because it makes it a little less squelchy and more fat. You can really hear that difference. And after that I have OTT of course turning down these highs, removing further squelchiness and this sign, I mean sign, notch filter sweeping through this utility boosting the gain and just EQing out the lows for the sub and more high end reduction just to keep that fatness in it. On its own, it's kind of paltry to say the least, but with the sub, I think it gets pretty close. Still not quite as fat, but again, I think Charles I, when he made this in Kira, he wasn't like mastermind calculating everything he was just messing with it until he found something he liked you know and this is the closest i could get so let me go over my thought process in this real quick so i was thinking when i heard the part in kira it's absolutely a sign compression so i added these right and then i was like all right but way too squelchy turn down the highs like that add a notch filter and like more more highs out but you know, that still left it kind of thin, I found. So I was like, all right, let me mess with some compression settings instead of those. I mean, some saturation settings. So I, I was sweeping through here and I was like, yeah, but that's not quite what I'm going for. I think soft sign gets it the fattest, but it needs a little something. And that little something is this bass here. So really when messing with this, these sign compression bases, just go crazy with the saturators and OTTs and EQs afterwards that really will make you be able to shape it into whatever tonality you so desire. And of course I have this utility here just to make it a little louder. All right, so this bass here is just some additive synthesis in Vital. You can do this in Operator and Serum in any additive synth and I heard that little whoo, the whistle, whistle tone. I was like, all right, that's a harmonic. Which one is it? Almost there. Great. And I just turned it up a tiny bit so it's audible. And just to thicken it a little bit, added a pinch of analog clip saturator with the drive up a tiny bit. Some OTT, which doesn't do a whole lot but on its own does a tiny bit and glue compressor just to make it a bit louder and of course EQing out these lows for our sub underneath and here same thing just pitch bend wheel wheel let me let me show you that there it is so I hope you'll believe me on that one the second sign compression bass is more of the traditional route or at least what I was able to make. And that's just two glue compressors with the makeup all the way up. OTT also cutting out these highs, boosting the lows and mids to fatten it. Another compressor because I thought like, where, where'd the sauce go? There it is, there it is, it's that simple. And of course a notch filter just to give it that extra movement. And it kind of like removes like that, I don't know, squariness, blockiness, whatever you want to call it. And I noticed this bass sounded a bit stereo. So I added a bit of chorus. I was using wider, but I thought it sounded more like chorus. So there it is. And I was having that on there, but I realized it's actually just the side chain. Giving it that woo 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 woo, you know. 
And this final bass here, this womp, is another sine wave. Charles I loves sine waves. So does Jade Cicada, but I'll get more into that in a minute. It's a sine wave there, so you can believe me. And, and these high harmonics are coming from this sinoid fold saturator. This thing is just awesome. And I was just tweaking it, tweaking the settings until I got it to match the harmonic the timbre of the bass in the song. And of course, cutting out the lows, this click, I need to like mess with my side chain or something. And I have an auto pan. I could use LFO tool, but I decided against it because keeping it more stock. And for that, I just turn the phase down, put, put this to 100, turn it on this mode, turn it to eighth note offset 180 cool stuff and just boosted the gain with the glue compressor and added some reverb now this here that's just cashmere tom samples just pitched down and this little thing up here i decided to remake as well so this i just copied the kick right except I low passed it, then put a redux on it, which gives it that, the squeakiness, and I automated that. And of course I cut out the lows after adding this redux or else it would be bumping and we don't want that. It's nice to be bumping, but only one thing can bump at a time. And here for that we just have a frequency shifter having fun and to bring it all out some OTT at the end so that that was the part of the drop remake in Charles the first Kira let me just demonstrate some general tips I found for sign compression stuff you know m most tutorials don't really tell you all this I don't know why but what they do tell you is all right you you get a sine wave you get glue compressors Sign compression. All right, how are you gonna? How the fuck are you gonna use that in your song? That doesn't sound very good to me. All right, add the notch filters. It's amazing. This is sign compression. It's amazing. No, but what I'm saying you gotta do to give it the sauce is further processing. Further process it. Crunch it, bunch it, munch it, whatever. And that'll give you much more palatable results. And on top of that, mess with your saturation settings because compressors aren't the only thing that, well, I mean, clip. I mean, it's called a sign compression, but, you know, you, it's, it's really the clip sound. See, that's freaking awesome. Mess with your different settings. Maybe you have some other plugins that have saturators. Do that. Ooh, that's that's freaking gnarly. Mess with all this. Mess with your bass. Mess with your depth, width. Automate stuff, like have two. If you're, if you're freaking crazy, you can have two. And that is just so much more interesting and sounds better than just two compressors and a notch filter, which is as far as all the tutorials I've seen take you. So really have fun with these sine bases. Sine waves can do anything as long as you believe hard enough and that about covers it. I, I hope you learned something. I appreciate you tuning in and watching this video. This is Bunting. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment for any questions or suggestions. And subscribe if you like this kind of stuff and want to see more. Also hit that bell so you're notified. Peace out.